Wow, it's like cheese. It's like charcuterie. Did you know that there is a single steak out there in the world that can cost as much as a new car? What makes these meats so incredibly expensive? And how are they produced to justify such high prices? Is it the breed of the animal, the method of raising them, or perhaps the unique process of preparation that escalates their value? For these five most expensive meats in the world, the answers may surprise you. Join us as we take a look into how the world's most expensive meat is produced. Let's start by taking a look at Iberico ham. Iberico ham, or jamón Iberico, is a special type of cured pork leg that comes from Spain and Portugal. It's made using pure black Iberian pigs, or a mix of at least 50% black Iberian and Duroc pigs. The ham, especially the one labeled de Bellota, has a smooth texture, rich, savory taste, and consistent marbling. This is amazing. I'm gonna have a right heart attack. Oh yeah, probably. The process of making Iberico ham is quite complicated, making it a premium product with a higher cost. The journey begins after piglets are weaned and they are then fed a diet of barley and maize for several weeks. Following this, the pigs are allowed to roam freely in oak groves known as dehisa, where they naturally graze on grass, herbs, acorns, chestnuts, and roots. For the top quality jamón iberico, some producers limit the diet to only chestnuts or acorns. After this period of natural feeding, the hams are prepared by salting and left to start drying for two weeks. Subsequently, they are rinsed and left to dry for another four to six weeks. The curing process then takes a minimum of 12 months, though some producers opt to cure their jamones ibericos for an extended period, even up to 48 months. The De Bellota label is reserved for hams from pigs that have feasted exclusively on acorns during their free roaming phase, providing a distinctive flavor profile to the ham. Thank you. My pleasure. Oh, it's getting better. The entire process, from the pig's diet to the curing time, contributes to the unique taste and quality of Iberico ham, making it a sought-after delicacy enjoyed by many. Oh, ham. <gasps> Oh my God. Ooh. <laughs> it is so delicate. Wow. This is like the perfect addition to everything that else that we have on this table. This meticulous craftsmanship is a proof of the rich culinary heritage and traditions of Spain and Portugal, creating a product that is not just food, but a cultural experience. But let's get to the interesting part. This meat here costs hundreds of dollars. This high cost of Iberico ham, such as the Euro 635, about $1.778 price tag for a six to seven kilo acorn fed ham from Cinco Jodas can be attributed to a combination of factors that make this delicacy truly unique and exceptional. The breed of the pig, the specialized diet, and the extensive curing process all contribute to the elevated price. One of the key factors behind the hefty price is the distinct diet of the pigs. During the Montanera season, the pigs feast on acorns, which are rich in carbohydrates and sugars. This unique diet leads to a rapid fattening process, imparting a special flavor to the meat. The acorns contribute to the aromatic profile of the pork, offering a delightful combination of sweetness, nuttiness, and earthiness that sets Iberico ham apart. Moreover, the oleic acid present in these acorns plays a crucial role in creating the soft, melty fat that adds to the divine taste and texture of jamón iberico. The free-range lifestyle of Iberian pigs on the dehisas also plays a significant role in the ham's quality. The pigs roam freely, covering up to eight miles a day in search of various foodstuffs. This exercise, combined with their diverse diet, results in a perfect intramuscular fat structure. The pigs develop distinct white marbling streaks within the meat, enhancing both the visual appeal and the overall taste of the ham. Furthermore, the curing process adds to the cost. The meticulous salting, drying, and extended curing periods, sometimes reaching up to 48 months, demand careful attention and contribute to the final price of the product.
The culmination of these factors, the breed, the diet, and the curing process, makes Iberico ham a culinary treasure, and its cost reflects the craftsmanship and dedication that go into creating this exquisite delicacy. Even with a price tag of over $700, Iberico ham remains the most accessible in terms of cost among the other luxurious meats we're about to explore. Having savored the unique qualities of Iberico ham, one might wonder, what other culinary specialties demand such intricate care and bring a sense of adventure? Having explored the unique world of Iberico ham, let's dive into another exotic delicacy, fugu or pufferfish. Known for its rarity and the skills required in its preparation, fugu offers a culinary adventure that's both intriguing and perilous. Fugu, also known as pufferfish, stands out as a delicacy in Japan, celebrated for its unique taste. However, this culinary adventure comes with a distinct peril. The fish is notorious for its lethal potential if not prepared correctly. The production process of fugu involves species primarily belonging to the Takifugu, Lagocephalus, or Spheroides genus. What makes fugu particularly dangerous is the presence of the potent neurotoxin tetrodotoxin, concentrated in various organs like the liver, ovaries, eyes, and skin. This toxin acts as a sodium channel blocker, causing paralysis of the muscles while leaving the victim fully conscious. The poisoned individual becomes unable to breathe, eventually succumbing to asphyxiation. And the surprising part is that there is no known antidote for fugu poison. But that does not mean doom for its consumers. In the face of such a situation, the standard treatment involves providing support to the respiratory and circulatory systems until the poison naturally metabolizes and is excreted from the victim's body. In Japan, Korea, and several other countries, the preparation of fugu is strictly regulated by law. Only chefs who have undergone three or more years of rigorous training and have qualified are allowed to handle and prepare this delicacy. One crucial aspect of this meticulous preparation is the swift and precise killing of the fish just moments before cooking. This method not only ensures the utmost freshness of the meat, but also minimizes the risk of toxin contamination, as the toxin can spread rapidly once the fish is dead. The careful balance between the allure of fugu as a delicacy and the potential danger it poses underscores the importance of skill and expertise in its preparation. The stringent regulations and extensive training for chefs reflect a commitment to the safety of those who dare to indulge in this exotic culinary experience, which builds up to its price. A full meal can easily set you back around $1.200 or more, while a serving of fugu sushi or sashimi might range from $1.20 to $1.60. During high season, when the demand for this delicacy peaks, the cost can shoot to $265 per kilogram. Several factors contribute to the high cost of fugu. The stringent regulations surrounding its preparation play a significant role. For starters, as we mentioned, only chefs who have undergone extensive training, lasting three or more years, are allowed to handle this potentially lethal fish. The meticulous attention to detail and skill required in the preparation process adds to the overall expense. Additionally, fugu is typically associated with high-end restaurants, where it is presented in various exquisite forms. Perfectly thinly sliced sashimi, deep fried or used to make a hot sake called hirazaka. The ambiance and expertise offered by such establishments contribute to the elevated cost of the fugu dining experience. Overfishing is another contributing factor to the increasing cost of fugu. The tiger puffer fish, a primary species used for fugu, is classified as near-threatened.
In response to concerns about declining populations, the Japanese government implemented limitations on fishing quotas and seasons in 2005. This conservation effort aims to protect the species from overexploitation and maintain ecological balance. Also, the restricted supply further drives up the cost of fugu. While farmed versions of fugu are available at a lower price point, many consumers argue that they do not match the taste of their wild counterparts. The distinct flavor and texture associated with wild-caught fugu contribute to its premium status, emphasizing the significance of sourcing this delicacy from its natural habitat. To sum it up, the high cost of fugu is a combination of its regulated preparation, association with upscale dining establishments, conservation efforts, and the unique characteristics of wild-caught specimens that enthusiasts find irreplaceable. With fugu's unique blend of thrill and delicacy, what else in the culinary world combines careful breeding with luxury? Let's turn our attention to the exquisite Wagyu beef. Transitioning from the world of fugu to another culinary delight, Wagyu beef is yet another luxury meat, often associated with the renowned Kobe variety. Celebrated for its expensive-looking, marbling, buttery flavor and melt-in-your-mouth texture, Wagyu beef is a true indulgence in the world of culinary delights. The production process of Wagyu beef revolves around four main cattle breeds in Japan. Kuroge, black, akage, brown, Nihon, tankaku, shorthorn, and Mukaku pulled. These cattle are carefully raised by specialized breeders until they reach the age of seven to 10 months, at which point they are sold to farmers along with a birth certificate certifying their pure bloodline. The acquisition of these cattle can cost farmers a substantial amount with prices reaching up to $30,000 each. Following the auction, the cows are transported to feeding farms where they are given individual names, fostering a personalized and stress-free environment for their growth. The journey of Wagyu cattle continues as they roam freely and graze in expansive fields. Ensuring a relaxed and comfortable lifestyle, Regular weigh-ins, typically conducted monthly, monitor the cow's progress. With an expectation of gaining approximately 2.5 pounds per day, the maturation process unfolds over two to three years, or until the cattle reach a weight of about 1,500 pounds, with a significant fat content of around 50%. This careful maturation contributes to the distinct marbling that sets Wagyu beef apart. The feed provided to Wagyu cattle is a crucial component of the production process. Comprising high energy ingredients such as hay, grain and wheat, this diet is meticulously crafted to enhance the marbling and flavor profile of the beef. The combination of breed selection, careful raising, stress-free environments and specialized nutrition all play pivotal roles in creating the exquisite Wagyu beef that graces tables in the finest dining establishments around the world. The cost of Wagyu beef often reaches premium levels, with genuine Wagyu from Japan commanding prices of up to $1.50 for a mere 100 grams. American Wagyu, while relatively more accessible, still ranges from $1.10 to $1.15 per pound. The rarest variant, Olive Wagyu, takes exclusivity to another level, fetching prices between $1.120 and $1.300 per pound. The lofty price tag attached to Wagyu beef can be connected to a combination of factors. Heavy regulations and the high level of skill and training required for its production contribute significantly to the overall cost. Moreover, the diet of Wagyu cattle is a crucial element, 
particularly in Japan. Wagyu is renowned for its high fat content and intricate marbling, achieved through a specific and carefully managed feeding regimen. The use of high quality food for the cattle, a key element in producing premium Wagyu, adds to the overall expenses. Land costs in Japan play a pivotal role in driving up the cost of Wagyu beef. The need for ample space, allowing cattle to walk freely and exercise to develop the desired marbling, becomes a challenge in a country with limited available land. In contrast to the United States, where ranchers can operate on vast plots of land, Japan's restricted space increases the cost of each square meter. This scarcity of land drives up its value, and in turn, the cost of Wagyu beef. As the demand for Wagyu continues to rise, the delicate balance between maintaining traditional production methods, ensuring the welfare of the cattle, and managing the economic realities of land costs in Japan contributes to the premium nature of this revered beef. Now from the distinguished elegance of Wagyu, how does one variant stand out in exclusivity and taste? Enter the realm of Kobe beef. Continuing our exploration of exceptional meats, we turn to Kobe beef, a distinguished type of Wagyu. Kobe beef is celebrated for its remarkable marbling, exquisite flavor, and luxurious texture. Kobe beef originates from the Tajima strain of Japanese black cattle, exclusively raised in Hyogo Prefecture around the city of Kobe. The production process mirrors the meticulous care seen in Wagyu beef, with cows individually named and given the freedom to roam and graze in a stress-free environment. Monthly weigh-ins monitor their growth, with an expected daily gain of approximately 2.5 pounds. The maturation process spans two to three years, or until the cattle reach a weight of around 1,500 pounds, featuring an impressive 50% fat content. The feed, comprising high-energy ingredients like hay, grain, and wheat, contributes to the distinct marbling that defines Kobe beef. However, what sets Kobe beef apart is the stringent set of regulations governing its production. From birth to processing, every stage must occur within the confines of Japan's Hyogo Prefecture. Furthermore, the meat from a single cow cannot exceed a maximum weight of 1,036 pounds. The Japan Meat Grading Association conducts rigorous assessments, evaluating marbling, texture, brightness, and color of both the meat and fat. A Kobe beef designation necessitates a minimum rating of 4 or 5 on a strict scale of 1 to 5. The beef marbling score, BMS, ranging from 1 to 12, requires a Kobe steak to achieve a score of 6 or higher. To solidify the authenticity of the designation, Kobe beef is marked with a distinctive Japanese chrysanthemum emblem. The meticulous attention to detail, coupled with the unique geographical constraints and grading systems, contributes to the exclusivity and, consequently, the high cost of Kobe beef. And speaking of cost, the cost of Kobe beef stands at a premium level, reflecting its rarity, limited supply, and the exacting standards and regulations that govern its production. But it still tastes great and we can put it to good use. A Kobe beef ribby steak indulging in the richness of marbling may command a staggering dollar 349. Similarly, a Kobe beef strip loin steak could be priced at dollar 329, while a Kobe beef filet mignon may range from dollar 1294. In Japan, where Kobe beef is a culinary treasure, a lunch special might cost around 5,000, 8,000 JPY, $40, 65 USD. And a dinner experience could start at 8,000 JPY, $1.50 USD, escalating into the hundreds of dollars. The exclusivity of Kobe beef stems from a combination of factors that contribute to its premium price. The production process adheres to strict regulations, 
and the Tajima cows, the source of Kobe beef, are raised with meticulous care. The practices employed date back over a thousand years, reflecting a time when vast expanses of land allowed free roaming in optimal environments. This tradition, sustained in the Hyogo Prefecture, provides ideal conditions with pristine drinking waters, mountain grass, and herbs. contributing to the exceptional quality of Kobe beef. The high marbling, a hallmark of Kobe beef, comes at an equivalent cost, but it is not just about the visual appeal. The exacting standards for Kobe beef, from the texture and brightness of the meat to the intricate beef marbling score, BMS requirements, create a product that raises the bar for beef perfection. The rarity of the Tajima strain, the limited supply due to stringent geographic restrictions, and the labor-intensive production process all play into the premium nature of Kobe beef. Import tariffs and quotas also contribute to the high cost, especially for those seeking to enjoy this delicacy outside of Japan. These factors collectively make Kobe beef a symbol of culinary excellence, an exquisite experience that embodies not just the taste, but the centuries-old tradition and dedication that go into producing this coveted beef. From the refined taste of Kobe beef, how does the ocean's bounty compete in the arena of luxury? Let's dive into the fascinating and opulent world of bluefin tuna. Now let's transition from the finest of land-based delicacies to a treasure of the sea, bluefin tuna. Especially prized for its top grades in sushi and sashimi, bluefin tuna is a culinary gem known for its deep flavor and tender texture. This sought-after species commands some of the highest prices in the seafood world. Bluefin tuna, especially the Atlantic bluefin tuna, undergoes a fascinating life cycle. From a 3 mm larva, it grows into a 400 kilo giant. Adult specimens migrate to the western Mediterranean for spawning. They release millions of eggs and huge clouds of sperm into the water. Spawning takes place about 5 meters below the surface, between 2 and 4 a.m. The fertilized eggs float in the water until they hatch a process that can take anywhere from 24 to 72 hours, depending on the water temperature. Only two out of every 30 million fertilized eggs will reach adulthood. They reach maturity when they're four to six years old and weigh about 45 kilograms. For the sushi sashimi sector, tuna ranching of bluefin has emerged as a supplier in the last two decades. The fish are guided to platforms by divers for harvesting. They are euthanized humanely by an immediate spike into their brain. This method is known as ikihime in Japanese. It is a technique that minimizes stress as the lactic acid in their system can change their flavor. It takes approximately 40 seconds to get the fish into an ice slurry or refrigerated seawater, which keeps quality at a premium. On board the tuna harvest boats are representatives of Japanese companies who scrutinize the product before export. They look for good shaped fish that have suffered no damage in the harvesting process. A segment is taken from the tail to determine quality. A strong, deep red color and good fat deposits are considered extremely favorable. The quality and color of southern bluefin tuna muscle flesh is assessed three times prior to the sale of a fish. Tuna may be purchased frozen or fresh. Bluefin tuna can be expensive. The bluefin tuna market price today can go from $1.40 to around $1.200 or more per pound, depending on where you buy, the source, the supply, and the season. At Luxagourmets, a pound of both super frozen bluefin tuna loin and fresh farmed bluefin tuna loin cost $1.99.
A local bluefin on the East Coast will run anywhere between $1.20 and $1.40 a pound. You could be paying north of $1.200 a pound for bluefin from Japan. Peak season Oma tuna will, in Japan, cost $400, $450 a kilo, which means by the time it gets here, it'll cost close to $1.400 a pound. Why is it expensive? The high cost of bluefin tuna can be attributed to several factors. One factor that makes bluefin tuna so expensive is the law of supply and demand. To put it bluntly, there's only so much bluefin tuna in the ocean. All three species of bluefin, namely the Atlantic, the largest and most endangered, Pacific and Southern, are overfished, and these fish don't breed in captivity. Japan, the largest consumer of bluefin, has faced international criticism for its harsh fishing of bluefin. Another reason fish is more expensive from Japan is that it has further to travel, and it goes through a rather lengthy process before making its way to your plate. There's more hands that it passes through in Japan, which is not necessarily a bad thing. The fish is also handled better in Japan than in the US. So there's less damage and more precise cutting. It's not uncommon for bluefin caught off the United States coast to be sent to Japan before being exported to a sushi restaurant somewhere. This drives up the cost.